Hello and welcome. It's your favourite fake internet doctor here. And today in this video what I want to tell you is what you do when you get one of these. A faulty battery. More specifically, what I do. What's the first thing I do when I get a faulty battery? This is what the obvious choice would be, you know. But no, that'll be a short video and you shouldn't put batteries in ordinary waste anyway. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know throwing away batteries is not what we do here. Um, what we do is we try and get them going, try and get them working again. Try and turn them from paperweights, uh, which these all are, into something you can use. So the first thing I do when a faulty battery lands in this operating table on this workbench is use a specific piece of equipment. Good old fashioned multimeter, you don't need anything too fancy. For this job, anything will do. As long as it's got DC voltage on it, that's all you need. Being the portal battery doctor of the internet, um, I consider myself a battery doctor, by all accounts. So, therefore, this is the first. This is if you go to the hospital, and you're not feeling very well, the first thing they do is check your pulse and your blood pressure. This is the battery equivalent of that. Right, I've got these eight Makita faulty batteries, and what I'm going to do is take the voltage one by one and write it down here, one to eight, and show you what they are. And then I'm going to get a good Makita battery and show you the voltage it has to give you an idea of what's going on. So put the numbers one to eight there, um, and we're going to do the first voltage check. You go the red terminal. I've actually adapted these. To go into all types of batteries. There is a bit more room in the Makita ones for the bigger probes, but I still use these anyway, they go into everything. So this goes onto the plus terminal. You can see the plus clearly marked there. And this goes onto the negative terminal. And this one actually has zero. This is actually showing zero voltage at the top. That could be very, very good or very, very bad, depending on what's wrong. That can mean all the cells are dead, so the battery is complete as a complete recycling job. So take it to the recycling center, or it could be just a wee breaking connection. The first is more likely with a Makita, you know. Connections rarely breaking them. Number two, moving on to number two, we'll do the same: black wire in the negative, red wire in the positive, and we're getting some voltage there. Which is positive, we get 15.13 volts. So that's that. That could be a few different things. It could be actually, it could be f full low voltage over the pack, which would mean that the voltage needs to be brought up a little bit, which wouldn't be bad at all. Or it could mean that they're dead cells, which would be a job replacing the cells. So think about that one so this one doing the same thing again number three we've got 7.89 again the same could be true there could be a lot of dead cells in that or it just could be low voltage across the pack number four again 0.07, 007. This battery was uh, has a license to kill. No, it's um, got less than a tenth of a volt, which is not good. If it's low voltage across the pack, it's probably put that one. It's too low to bring back, I would say. Um, or all the cells are just basically kaput. So well, moving on to number five here. 13 volts again there's possibilities for that one 13.02 volts there's possibilities for that one uh, because it could be like I say low voltage across the pack or just dead cells maybe something can be done there number six you can see number six is That's bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm bad. The terminal's the wrong way around. I'm going to show you this is going to be. 
I put the terminals on the wrong way around. I put the black wire where the positive goes and I put the red wire. And what happened is I get the same voltage but it'll just be a negative voltage. Be a minus. That's the only consequence of that. But we'll put them around the right way, do you see? Red in the right place and yeah, see that? 3.93. Again, if it's that low across the pack, it's probably dead. Um if it's if it's dead cells um if it's well, it might be recoverable across the pack just about but if it's dead cells there'll be too many away there'll be too many of them away to be economically viable or even it's just going to be too much work to replace them you're just basically going to build a new pack and that doesn't always pay there's number seven here now number seven's here now so again i'll try and get the terminal terminals right this time so seven point she'll settle down here now hmm that's weird 7.59 7.58 7 7.59 again c3 similar sort of situation as the third one so might be too far gone might not be depending what the, the nature of it is the final one is number eight number eight and number eight is giving us 12.9 so similar to five these two probably are unrecoverable um this one probably two these two may be unrecoverable we've got three real good possibilities of recovering packs there maybe more if i really applied myself you know but that's a that's a video for an hour day but before we do go i'm going to have to show you what a good voltage looks like just to give you an idea so we're going to write good battery here And I'm going to write what the voltage of the good battery is. So here's a good battery. One from the doctor's own collection. I don't know what the level of charge in this is. Because it's one of the old ones with no battery indicator. However, these range really between roughly 17 volts and 20 volts if they're good. 20 volts being fully charged. So we have to think optimistic. That's, that's the rating for 20 volts. All multimeters are different but... That'll measure up to 200 volts, that'll measure everything from 0 to 200 volts, so we'll see how far up she is. Level of charge she has. It's showing a very, very healthy 19.8 volts. That means it's either fully charged or near enough fully charged, depending on the, the cell balance inside. If the cell balance is properly equal, you'll get 20.2, 20.1, that sort of voltage. If there's a wee bit of slight imbalance, you can get this. But I would say she's pretty good. If these were reading, if the rest of them was reading that, I'd be more than happy. I wouldn't have to fix them. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.